Well, this cooks. Did you see that? Did you know that today is actually the official first day of fall? And what better way to enter into the new season than to find a whole bunch of really fun Amazon kitchen gadgets that we need to test together. I also have a little bit of a theme going on today. I mean, other than it being fall, but like another theme. And I am both nervous and excited to test many of these. They could go so poorly or so great, and I don't know which way it's gonna go. And I'm also very excited because today's video is sponsored by KiwiCo, which if you are unaware, they create monthly crates that are delivered to your door all around Steam. So science, technology, engineering, art, math. I think I got that all in the right order. And each of them have all these different activities or a specific activity or project that you want to take on depending on which age range crate that you're looking for. But you can see in the crate, it has tons of different information, lots of resources. Everything that you need is in the crate so you can complete it. You don't need extra stuff. Also, each of the crates has its own kid-friendly magazines, which kind of dives deeper into each of the subjects. So Luke really had a good time looking through that. Actually, the one that Luke and I, we just did this the other day was the KiwiCo Tinker Crate. So I gotta show you what we made. We made a walking robot. It's very cool. You want to see him walk? It's really cute. Look at him go! Don't go into my mic. Don't go into my mic. And actually, they have this one on the KiwiCo store for individual sales, so you can buy a bunch of different individual crates to test it out if you wanted. Most of the KiwiCo subscriptions are around $20 a month. I actually have a coupon code, Rach Loves Life. I will link it down below for 50% off your first KiwiCo subscription crate. And big thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. I hope you guys love the crates as much as we do. And now let's dive into some Amazon kitchen gadgets. And the first product we're gonna start because it's going to take the longest. This one's going to go five ever. And that is a dehydrator. I don't know what it is about like dried fruits in the fall, but that just feels very fall to me. And I have never tried one of these. And when I also discovered in sort of reading through all of the instructions, I did read them this time, everyone. But not only does it have all of these different um, layers where you dehydrate things, but they also have a tray on top where you could do like your very own DIY fruit roll up basically. I thought that was really cool. So clearly we're gonna make one. I found a bunch of recipes online. It seems pretty straightforward. We're, we're basically gonna, I wanna make like a cherry strawberry one. I think that's one's gonna be really good. Cherries, also strawberries, which I need to blend. So into here, I'm gonna throw in some strawberries. No, now that I have that in there, maybe I'll just do strawberries. You know what I'll do? I'll dehydrate cherries separately. Aha. Then I need approximately two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm wondering if I can do this. You know what? I'm just gonna go with my heart. Whatever I think that might be a tablespoon. Look at that. It was a great tablespoon, she said confidently. <laughs> and then a couple of tablespoons of sugar. Again, I don't think this is supposed to be exact. There we go. Now we need to blend it. I have no space over here, hang on. Excuse me, one moment. Ta-da! And then this goes into the tray, but first I wanna load it up with some veggies. Not veggies, <laughs> what's the word? Fruit. And I have pears, apples, and then, and then the cherries. I'm gonna peel them, just cause I feel like that would just be a better experience. If you do this, please let me know. Do you peel? Your, your fruit before you do this? Is that a, a faux pas? I don't know, I don't dehydrate things. Just over here silently peeling fruits. I'm trying to think of which one is gonna be the most delicious. Obviously the fruit roll up or the fruit leather or whatever you wanna call it could be very good. I have faith in that one. But I don't know, some of the cherries that could be good. So I think it said just to Split the cherries in half. And each of them takes a different amount of time, so I'm like trying to calculate in my head which one is gonna go when and where. Cherries, pitting is optional. Stem when ready to use. Cut in half, six to 36 hours. Wow, he's a long time. I think apple's gonna go on the top, and then ones that take longer are supposed to go in the lower to the bottom. This might be fun too to have as like a back to school snack thing. I know you can just buy dried cherries, I'm sure. Maybe these taste more delicious. Oh no, a little piece. Oh, like I wish I was the mom that dehydrated all of my children's snack foods and made homemade fruit leather. Maybe I can become one. I'm gonna score a couple of them too. I think then it's gonna get in better under the skin, you know? And then the pears and the apples, they want it like six millimeters thick. 
six millimeters. I don't even know how to, how to measure that. It's just like really thin. And you get to go near the bottom. I don't know how people do this like all the time. It's a full-time job. Okay, hang on and I will show you when I'm finished here. Okay, for everyone that was watching before, I cut them way too thin. Six millimeters was not as small as I thought it was, so I recut them and I positioned them onto the dehydrator. I put the cherries at the bottom because I think they're gonna take the longest. And then up here is the little tray. It doesn't sit very evenly, which makes me nervous, but we're going to put this on, kind of spread it around. Again, they want it to be a quarter of a thing thick. Like, I don't know what to do with this. This is to pour it on. Two cups of pureed. All right, all right, fine. Let me smooth this out. I said it before and I'll say it again. Never done this before. Now we just need a lid. We're gonna plug it in and I will check in with you later. Okay, goodbye dehydrator, please be delicious. Okay, now the next thing I have been eyeing for a while, but I've been trying to find the right video to put it in, and I feel like today's the day, because most of the products we're talking about, I didn't even tell you what the theme was. Most of them are going to be like fall fair, and I mean, candies, very full fair. So this one actually makes a whole bunch of different like gummy candies and there's like a whole setup to it. It has different, <laughs> different shapes and there's like a whole process to it. But there's a reason why this is still out because I'm going to um, be blending up more fruit and just doing, I'm doing a bunch of different gummies. I'm too excited, I'm all over the place. So I decided when I'm doing this, I'm gonna do three different gummy types and then we'll see which one is the best. I mean, hopefully they're all delicious, but I wanna see um, how this does in terms of making them, prepping them, taking them out at the end, because that's gonna be a thing. I've had my fair share of poor luck with silicone molds. So we're gonna start with like a real fruit gummy to which I need a little bit more fruit. I need about half a cup about half a cup. Okay, and then we have, this is where it gets all very interesting. They have a, a method to the way that they want me to do this. Gotta stick this guy in here. I gotta feed the cord through. And I know what you're thinking, Rachel. Why do you have like a heat warmer thing? Well, I'll tell you. That's where you make it and then you pour it into this over ice so that they set. They need 10, 15 minutes to set. So I wanna give them time to do that. Okay, for the red ones, let's do let's do hearts. That feels classic. So what I need to do is I need to pour in half a cup of fruit puree. I'm just going off of their own recipe. Half a cup. And then to that we need two tablespoons of unflavored gelatin. One, two. And then it says to add in a tablespoon of honey, but I kind of already added some sugar into it, so I'm not gonna do that. And mix it all together. And plug it in. <gasps> Put it into the wrong thing. Ah, oh, hold on. It's mad. Today, it's not my day. You know what? Sometimes it's your day. It's not my day today. To be fair, they look identical. <laughs> That's so annoying. It's fine. It's fine. I'll clean it. It's fine. Put that in. We're gonna turn it on. Okay. It says to heat for five to ten minutes. I'm gonna set it for five so I don't burn it. Okay, it's been closer to like seven minutes or so, um, but now I'm going to pour it in. So I wanna show you guys the ice here. I'm not sure what we're, <laughs> spoiler alert on the next product. Move that aside. I don't understand. You're basically supposed to fill this bottom thing with ice, right? So that it cools. And that makes sense, except that in order to make it so that these sit smooth across, it doesn't actually really touch much ice because obviously the more that you fill it, um, the more likelihood that these don't actually sit and lay flat. So something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna pour this in here. Also worth noting, if you were gonna do a bunch of different recipes, this is going to take you forever. You do this, and then you have to clean it, and then you set up again for another recipe, and then you do that one. Then you reset. Honestly, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job on this so far. I really haven't spilled too much yet. Yay. Oh no. Because I almost spill it. Aha. Did it. But I still have like a lot left over, which is kind of annoying. Worth noting. Okay, so those are on ice. Okay, take that back. That wasn't that difficult to clean. And then the next one I want to do while we figure this out is I want to do um, blue raspberry jello flavor. Obviously. So I need 85 grams of this stuff. Oh, the smell. Gets me every time. 
Oh, I just realized something. Um, that's the entire package. Well, let's see if it's accurate. Aha, uh -huh, it's not. It's actually 86 grams, not 85. Basically a whole package of Jello, half a cup of water, and then only one tablespoon of gelatin. Then we're gonna give this a stir, turn that on again, set that as a timer for five minutes. And then we're gonna go on to the next thing. Now this cooks away. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> cooks away. I don't know what I did, but I'm still recording. <laughs> I don't know. Today's video is not my video, Christopher. I don't know what I did, but I did something bad. I have never had that happen before. What is happening? You can see that I've mildly ruined a couple of the hearts here. <laughs> it's fine, it's gonna be fine, it's fine, it's fine. So, <laughs> next product. I'm gonna be making Corn dogs. I've never made corn dogs before, and there's an actual thing to help you make them. So we're gonna start with the batter. I'm not gonna lie to you, Christopher. I'm probably gonna steal you to help me with this one because everything that I have touched so far, I have killed in some way, shape, or form. Alright, please stay away from the kids. <laughs> so I'm just going with whatever recipe they have in the actual um, kit. We're just gonna start with one beaten egg. is hissing at me. Why are you hissing at me? A little bit spilled at the bottom. Not a lot though, so I'm fine with it today. Then we need two thirds of a cup of milk, half a cup of pancake mix, half a cup of cornmeal, and then two teaspoons of sugar. And then we're just going to mix all that together. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this over to like a taller container. Uh, I'm just keeping an eye on that. So that I can properly dip the hot dogs. Hey Christopher, do you want to um, cut some hot dogs in half for me please? Thanks. I don't know if you know this about me Christopher, but I like to live my life chaotically. And so I have like three different things going on right now. This is my surprise face. <laughs> okay, this is getting to be close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some ice into the bottom here. So now I'm going to do my little blue stars. And we're slowly going to pour them in. Not sitting as flat as I want it to. I don't think it's the fault of the ice though. I think it's just the container. There we go. Half hot dogs. Yay! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now I need some help. I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna move this into this spot. No, it's, it's plugged in. So hold for a second. I will help. You ever thought of doing one thing at a time? For quitters. I also have a dehydrator going in the basement. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you dehydrating? Uh, I've actually, I made um, fruit roll ups. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Okay. So, if I move this over there, then we'll have a space for it to be, um, yeah, thank you. Okay, you're not doing the keys? I am doing the keys. No, Next. Obviously, I'm doing the keys. The keys are a first round pack. Well, yeah, except that I wanted to do them for the, for the next one. I'm gonna be doing pineapple juice for the next one. Cool. And that just felt right for keys. Is this like another lemon is fast kind of thing? I'm not following. <laughs> okay, well, stars made the most sense for me as blue. Well, but pineapple I, juice I know, is yellow. I know, listen, okay, I yeah, hear you. Yeah. Except I really wanted blue stars and I wanted red hearts and that left the keys as yellow. That's where we're at. What about like a half and half? Listen, you know what? I actually have some here. I can just pour some into part of it right. and see if that works. And when that's ready, we need to dip the hot dogs into this and then put it in here and then pour more batter on top. And based off of what I've done so far today, I'm gonna ruin that. That's something you would like me to... See who play. Yeah. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to clean up the burned jello at the bottom of that thing, mm. just to give you a, a, a nice flavor for what's been happening today. Have you figured out my theme yet, Christopher? Is it frustration? <laughs> that is kind of the theme for today. Don't say it, don't say what it is, but then I'm also doing that next. So now do you have any idea? Mm, I have a guess, yeah. What are you doing? Christopher is going rogue. This is not what the instructions say. I just need to say that out loud. Instructions are for chumps. Well, we've seen what happens when I follow the instructions. I see. Yeah, it's not very much coating the hot dog. Not really, no. That's why I'm going this route. Yeah, that makes sense. Next one, I'm gonna do pineapple juice and two tablespoons of gelatin, and then it says to do a tablespoon of honey. There isn't enough pineapple flavored candy. Do you know, it's all in the UK. That's oh, where really? they go. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. we don't get anything here oh. like that. Darn the UK and their good food. Christopher! <laughs> oh, uh, not that's not done. It wants them turned though. They want to turn it? Mm -hmm. 
Isn't the whole point that that has stuff on either side? Apparently not, according to the recipe. All right. Right now, I kind of feel like you, because you, you stand here to the side. Yeah. You're, you're in my spot. I'm sitting you know. in this spot. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Whoa. Oh! Another menu or two? Oh, my name's Christopher. Everything works out for me. <laughs> I definitely don't trust myself with the next one. After this one, like, you have to stay with me. Be my support right. during this trying time. It smells really good. Yeah. You took them out! Yeah. It's so quiet! That's on. I'm setting a timer because I will forget and it will burn. Ooh, okay. Going down. <gasps> Can I sit with you? Yes, please. Are you okay to sit on that side? It feels weird. It is weird. It's weird. Hi, my name's Christopher. Look at my fun shirt. Thanks for joining my channel. <laughs> These look delicious and they smell amazing. It's like, um, a, it's honestly is a, a cornmeal pancake is what it smells like. It smells like a corn cob. I'm really scared how much this is going to burn me. Yeah, it's probably going to be quite hot. Ketchup, but also mustard. Cheers. So hot. Oh, God. Mm. A little dry? I don't know. I think I... Is that the point? Kinda, okay. Kinda, I mean, don't want it moist, really, right? Yeah, I guess not. It's I, just cornbread around a hot dog. Is there salt in the batter? No. Need salt. A little bit bland. This is very good. Yeah, not difficult. Mm -hmm. I like them. Okay, can I bring you back once I clean this up? Okay. I'm really scared about the next one. I feel like I'm going to burn the whole house down with this one. <laughs> Actually, the product that I'm most nervous about needs some time to heat up. So it's doing that while I do another product that I saw and again, I needed to try it. This, you may be wondering, what is that, Rachel? And how is that useful at all? Great question. This is a silicone tea kettle that will fold up, which I think is really useful if you are camping or if you have like a small tight space and you don't use this all the time but you need a kettle that sounds awesome so this is all made of silicone and then it has like its little if i can get it out how to take off handle important slide bar of kettle bottom towards center of kettle slide bar of kettle bottom what christopher what does move slide bar of kettle bottom towards center of kettle well, I'm glad it's not just me. Oh, lever would have to. Oh, lever release. would be helpful. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, Cute. Thanks, Christopher. I'm gonna boil water with it. Cause I can't mess that up today. Smash cut too. <laughs> no! Don't smash cut. Water. It's boiling water. It's be fine. Do you hear that thing in the background? Just menacingly. That's what I like to think anyway. It's menacing. Needs another three minutes to heat up. Oh, I'm so nervous about it. We'll see how long this takes to actually boil up because I think this would be a great solution if you don't have space or you don't want to make space for a kettle, which I can also understand. I think this could be good. So I guess let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's see if these are done because I bet they are. And what I want to do for some of them, which I think could be really, really good, is I need to make them sour. And the best way to do that is with citric acid and sugar. So I bought some new, which is annoying because mine was lost in the fire. And I'm basically just going to eyeball mix citric acid and sugar. Now we need to see what this looks like. I'm gonna move you to the side. It's getting warm. That's good, that's good to know. I'm gonna bring the little trays over. Oh, actually my timer just went off. Okay, well then these need to hold for a minute. Well, I mix that together anyway. Get over here. Okay, if you haven't already guessed by now, um, I will show you the thing that I'm very nervous about. The thing I'm gonna be testing cotton candy machine. So you can see I have all the pieces for it and this one is specifically for hard candy. So uh, you can either use floss sugar, which I believe is like a cotton candy specific sugar, or you can use hard candy. So um, I got Jolly Rancher hard candies and this is the blue raspberry, obviously. So I figured we'd start with that and you use these things and this lid and stuff to make cotton candy. I'm so scared. Something about this just really makes me super nervous. You put two candies in, only two. I chose blue, obviously. Blue raspberry. It's reliable. It is reliable. It makes no sense. I've seen raspberries, I promise they're not. I have a strong enough magic. <laughs> then you put them in here. It doesn't say to put it anywhere else. It says to put it into the extractor. Very clear instructions huh. right here. I would not have thought that. Yeah. Okay. Right? That's, Goes right in there's here. There's a picture and everything. Yeah, it's right here, right? Hang on, wait. I mean, they gave you the spoon. So now I turn it on, make it go real fast, and then when the um, 
cotton candy webbing begins to appear, rotate the cone horizontally like this. So now we, now we wait anxiously because they're also very clear in here as well. Um, don't let it touch anything else because sugar burns tremendously. It is shaking. It does have, suction cups, yes, right? it has suction cups. That's helpful. Hope it's starting. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. Did you see that? It's like instant spider web. Oh my gosh, this is so stressful. Christopher, <laughs> help. Pull the cone horizontally over the extractor to begin collecting the cotton candy. Rotate the, the cone, the cone with your fingers while moving the cone side to side above the bowl to make sure to collect all the cotton candy. Make sure it doesn't fall. Christopher. <laughs> I'm so angry. Why are you good at everything? I think I missed my calling. I should have been a carny. It's not that difficult. I just did what they said. Okay, now I, now I have to put more in, I guess. That's kind of cool. That is so cool. So excited. You don't get a lot for um, two candies worth, but I guess that's, I mean, good good information to know. I, I would have said this feels like a lot for two candies worth. Well, I mean, like, but it's not big and poofy. No, 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 no. You don't get that's a full I, cotton yeah. candy experience. Yeah, not that I expected you to, but like no. I, I didn't really know how it was going to um, lay on the thing. Without the spoon. Wow, I man. know. This is much better. Now I just can, I can just sit here and watch. Oh my gosh, it went immediately. Wow. This is so cool. Try and get more on this part. That is so freaking cool. I can't stop looking at it because it's just like, I don't understand any of this that's happening here. Yeah, the physics of it are not obvious to me. I could watch this all day. This is really fun. You are crushing this, Christopher. I'm tired of this family holding me back. <laughs> I'm going to clown college. <laughs> wow. And it's different than I thought because I thought, ooh, maybe I can layer it. But you can't really layer it. Well, maybe you can because this is just your calling. But like, I want to see if we can get most of it on the, like, the top. You can try. There we go. I'm so interested in just like experiencing this. I want to know what this tastes like so bad. I bet it's delicious. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. Blue raspberry flavored, are you kidding me? I find this soothing. Everything about this stresses me out. I don't know how you find this soothing. I forgot to tell everyone that this did boil all the way and then it just stopped. And now it's decided to go again because I forgot to turn it off. Cool. So then it just cooled down until it cooled to a temperature, I guess, and then it, it went again. That's good to know. So it does boil water. It is a good, I like that one. It takes a while, obviously, yeah. to get full stack. Like this is not building at a very fast rate. This is how many? Six? This number's eight? Yeah, this is seven and eight. Oh, oh. See, you didn't use the spoon. But I mean, it is building. Mm -hmm. It's very soothing. It is. I wonder how much, how difficult it is to clean. Probably not that bad, but what's happening? No, Christopher, you're losing it. Fine, saved it. I am one with the you know, candy machine. I don't know how you did it. I really thought it was gonna go downhill there. And then all of a sudden this big poofy cloud appeared. This is a very fall dessert though. To me. Yeah, you're right. This is this is fall fair. It is fall fair. That was my theme. Yeah, but fall fair, A-I-R-A-R-E, eh, eh. A-I-R, like, like, like A-R-E. Uh, like oh, with the F. Yeah. I, sorry, yeah. I was just like, I don't understand. Air, R. <laughs> well, look, I want to see if it smelled like anything. No. It doesn't, but hold on. I need to put you on the floor. Can't wait to clean that one. I don't want to ruin this. I just want to take like a little bit. I want to ruin it. It's not the same. I like the flavor though. I don't like the flavor. Oh, I don't like the texture of it. The yeah. way that it melts down in your mouth, it, it reforms into Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it, it becomes a thousand little hard candies. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. But, and I, I don't like blue raspberry flavored cotton candy. I'll say it. I think it should just taste like sugar. More of a traditionalist of cotton candy. Yeah, yeah. that's super interesting. Okay, well then, hold on. It's a cool experience though. It is cool. Look at these. I, huh? love, I love gummies so much. Gummies are so good. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this. You know what this is? <laughs> Don't eat it. This is obviously. Say it for the kids. This is, <laughs> this is citric acid and sugar. Mm, mm, okay. So I have a whole bunch of different ones. Let's start with the first and we'll make our way around. So these ones, you can see I busted these ones up a little bit because of my incident with the camera. Can't wait to watch that back. Okay, so let's see how it does. This is real fruit, like fresh strawberries. It's already going easier than the um, shot glasses. That's exactly what I thought of when I saw this and I was like, ugh. Oh, it's, it holds together. The color isn't my favorite, I'll be honest. It looks like a piece of spam. Spam, 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 spam. 
I was gonna I was gonna split this with you and then we can taste it and then see what it tastes like sour. Oh, oh that one has the blue in it. Okay. All right. Ready? Boop. Very strange to have a gummy that tastes like real strawberry. I've never had a gummy that is an artificial fruit flavor. Dip it. Like powerfully sour. Maybe I should add some Ooh. more sugar to it. <laughs> I don't like the consistency of these. It just tastes like really pectiny jam. And it's just, it's yep. weird. Yep. And I don't like that as much. Unfortunately, I'm really sad about that. Next, I made the stars. And these stars, you can see, very pretty. And they're gonna be like blue raspberry jello flavored. Came yep. out really easy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. On foam, kind of tastes like Jello. Tastes like harder Jello. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna dip it. They look pretty. Like obviously, I just like coated it, so it looks kind of weird. But like, it looks pretty. Better. Mm -hmm. better I like texture, that. Texture, better flavor. I like it coated. These are pineapple juice. Is it just like pineapple juice and gelatin? Yeah. yeah. But I also did some of them. Offers. I attempted anyway, because the way that this one is built. There's like a little bit of a ledge around the ring. So you mm. can actually, I mean, not well, but you can. That was pretty good. Yeah. It's not bad. Okay, I want to try just the pineapple part. Yeah. I don't know if I like that one as much. You get to hit a pineapple at the end. I don't know. I like the blue um, raspberry, the one the most, but none of these is really like wowing me. Texture wise though, pretty good. Very like gummy -y. You just have to dial in the flavor that you want? Yeah, I think it's just like a flavor thing for me. I just, I don't know. I haven't quite nailed it. It's a cool machine. Like it does work. They came out really easily. It's not a difficult machine unless you're me today to figure <laughs> out. Oh, and then all these pieces come apart so you can store it better. So it's not like stored like this. Cause I can nice. imagine that would take up a lot of space. Not bad, not yeah, bad. Thank you for done. your, thank you for your assistance. Picking a little piece again. Well, yeah. Obviously. Ooh, let's go to tonight for dehydrator news. Hi, hydrator, dehydrator update. So there's the next day. This is what it looks like. It was really soft over here earlier, so I've just been letting it dry out more. So let's pick off some and try it. Yeah, that's delicious. Oh, I really like that. That's really good. Let's pull back some layers. Next layer down is apple. By the way, in terms of how they look, we have apple, pear, and then closer to the bottom, we have the dried cherries. They all seem to have dried out reasonably, I think. Apple. It's fluffy without being that weird chewiness that sometimes happens. It feels like a fresh dehydrated. That's really good. Really apple-y. Pear. Mm, I don't dislike it. Oh, it's a little bit crunchier, a little bit chewier. That's kind of fun. Cherries, I'm nervous about. Some of them, like this one, is very chewy. Very good, but some of the bigger ones, they just feel more not fully dried out, you know? Overall, I think this did a very good job. I think it did exactly what it said it was going to do. However, you have to be committed to the time it takes, A, in advance to fully prepare everything. So you could either do like a bunch of layers of all of like the apple or something like that. And then also the time to invest in actually like letting it dehydrate and like watching it, checking on it, all that kind of stuff, which is a lot, especially when I can only imagine this level of fruit would be gone in a matter of minutes in my house. But if that is something that you are willing to do, I mean, this one works really well. Well, today was a lot. Today was a lot for me personally as a person. I don't know what got into me today, but I guess everyone has those days sometimes. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Amazon Gadgets Tested. Let me know which one of these was your favorite. Big thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. You can go and check out the link down below with code RACHELOVESLIFE for 50% off your first monthly subscription crate. And check out these other videos on the side in case you've missed any and subscribe for new videos here every single Saturday. Promise that I'm not always <laughs> this uncoordinated, but most of the time I am. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic weekend and I will see you guys all in the next one.